I'm Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So stay tuned. Hello everybody. I'm not going to be actually using my plate today, but I am going to be creating some collages, some greeting card collage from papers that I've already printed on my plates. So stay tuned as we make some greeting cards together. Here you're going to see me using, um, oh, just this little ruler that I have found recommended from uh, Mary Beth Shaw and uh, I really like it. It comes in a 12 inch also but I, I like the 6 inch because it's easy to uh, manage and it's easy to travel with and it's perfect for these small pieces that I'm doing right now. Um, those of you who are on my email list you know that recently I moved to San Antonio so I've had to relocate my studio and all my supplies and I am adjusting <laughs> to a smaller space, different lighting, fewer supplies, and so um, you'll get to go along this journey with me. But for right now I'm sort of getting my big toe wet again in my creativity. I've been away from my studio practice for about a month as I packed and moved and got settled. So uh, I know all of you who moved know all about that. So I'm just sort of uh, getting my, my my creative juices flowing again. So you can just watch me here as I rip up these papers and and basically I'm making rectangles and squares and strips and overlapping them and just really kind of seeing what I can do in the way of compositions on these uh, these are mixed media cards that I get from Amazon they're Strathmore I think you could get watercolor cards but I really like the mixed media cards the weight of them for um, adhering my all my collage pieces sometimes with either the glue stick or sometimes I use a soft gel mat from Golden and um, so it just sort of minimizes the warping by using a little heavier paper and I think the mixed media cards are a heavier paper but you'll see me really making decisions here about what I like and don't like and what I put together and um, and I think at the end I'll show you a compilation of all the cards that I made. I think I made about 10 cards in this evening uh, one setting. It's kind of fun to pass the time as you're watching TV. A lot of these cards were made from commercial stencils that I get from Stencil Girl products. I, when I use a stencil, I, I've started cutting my own now, but when I use a commercial stencil, I do use Stencil Girl products. I really like, I like that company. I like their products. I like their designs. I've met and become acquainted with several of the designers and. I just I just like the company so and I'm not paid anything to give them a plug I'm not an affiliate so I'm just giving you a free plug for their products
those pieces of paper that I'm pulling out there are textured pieces that I created with joint compound and um, just scraping a little bit of a joint compound through the stencil opening and then lifting up the stencil and it leaves that little pattern and you just leave it to dry and then you can cut it out and and glue it on. I've really enjoyed doing that. You'll see, I, I don't end up using that strip there. I, I don't know why I auditioned it there several times, but don't really end up liking it like that. So it, it ends up on another piece somewhere else. And basically that's, that's all you do when you're creating these. You're just auditioning different shapes and colors and pattern to see how they how they look together how do they integrate how do they interact what kind of contrast do they provide 